Hello everyone. Guess the remedy. Answer. This is the case of hemiplasia of the left side uh, in a female. And what uh, we can learn from this case is the approach that needs to be taken in IPD cases because this is the uh, first uh, time I saw the case it was uh, the patient was in the ICU she was unconscious so there's no question of case taking and trying to take a detailed case and finding a constitutional remedy all this is not possible at that time so at that time we have to rely on history given by the relatives and also be, uh, uh, the reports you know, what the physicians have to say what how they analyze the case and third most important is examination of the case so in this case first thing uh, from the history of the relatives we understand that she has ailments from grief of loss of relative etc so therefore we first give her the remedy nitromure and the patient recovers now what is interesting is the physicians say that uh, our, um, she has landed up in this case in this phase because she had a uh, myocardial infarction and because of that her heart did not function and she has um, developed um, hemiplegia so mainly her heart was the reason that she has landed up in this situation and then we see that she then starts developing all heart complaints once the mental thing is cleared the, she starts developing all heart complaints she has heaviness in the chest area there's mucus in the chest along with cough with dryness and they the physicians keep saying to if the mucus does not reduce her um, heart will not function and we also saw how her blood pressure was getting affected because obviously the heart was affected so we give spongia and the patient improves now interestingly after spongia her symptoms shift from the heart into the brain and she has all symptoms uh, which were firstly symptoms which were already present that is left sided hemiplegia but one strange symptom is this kind of uh, position or uh, of the uh, uh, hand that she has this is very strange why is this like this like this because it's not completely paralyzed also if you really force lightly it opens up but then it goes back like this so this was not uh, understood by the physicians by the neurologists why is she doing like this so we have to pay attention when the physicians are saying this position is itself very strange so that should be covered by that second important thing is that we have to always remember the background the background in this case is that this is a patient who has uncontrolled diabetes who has hypertension so we need a remedy which has this potential of causing such kind of diseases hypertension diabetes and paralysis this is the background then in this background this is one characteristic symptom now we have to look at the mental symptoms right and in the mental symptoms what generally happens to us is we tend to we tend to take mental symptoms from our knowledge like some of us have said the patient is mistrustful she's suspicious that her relatives are going to poison her are are going to kill her or someone is going to murder her so we all have our way of looking at it but we don't really know whether the patient is suspicious or is it is this patient delirious is she talking in delirium and she's not recognizing anything and she's just talking from her own imagination rather than no trust 
so at that time what i found very useful is first try to establish ourselves in the physical and then see which physical which remedy which fits the physical symptoms has some kind of similar mental symptoms this i find very very useful in treating pathological cases especially when there is full blown pathology developed so that is what is very important in pathology always try to treat first one at a time like first we got to know about grief we treat that then we saw heart symptoms we treat that rather than trying to find constitutional remedy without constitutional remedy we can't do anything in homeopathy that approach will not work we will not be able to treat pathological cases with that so when we don't have that option then treat what is presenting treat what you can see treat what is most bothering for the patient so in this case when we when we first focus on the physical symptoms then we understand then this is what i did what i did is i asked the repertory to show me all symptoms or all rubrics from all repertories which have left sided hemiplegia so these these four rubrics i found from different repertories and then when you repertorize actually i did this repertorization step by step when we when i repertorized only this four first left sided symptoms then i found out that the first remedy that was coming up was plumbum metallicum now what is interesting is plumbum metallicum is known for this delirium or this feeling that i will be assassinated that i will be killed hmm? so one of the rubrics of uh, uh, of plumbum metallicum is delusions imaginations murdered he will be conspiring to murder him others are hmm? that is one second most important is in kent's repertory there is one rubric which says attitude assumed strange and there is only one remedy in that this this attitude this position is very strange and that again is plumbum metallicum and then in gestures also you have a rubric which says mind gestures makes strange attitude and position when we take all these rubrics then the first remedy that comes up is plumbum metallicum and therefore i chose to give her plumbum metallicum after which the patient improved very significantly her her diabetes started to come back to normal this is very interesting all six throw remedies are very important remedies for all these old age degenerative conditions like or conditions like uh, diabetes mellitus hypertension heart disease myocardial infarctions hmm, paralysis hemiplegia you see aurum metallicum myocardial infarction plumbum metallicum paralysis remedy foot drop wrist drop degenerative disorders huh? mercury is also very useful barita moor we know remedy for old age people with high, with high systolic and low relatively low diastolic so all this kind of cardiovascular diseases um, no, brain diseases stroke or old age degenerative diseases very very important all row six remedies always remember this so that is why the background or the pathology is matching the keynote or the characteristic situation of the hand is matching and the mental symptom is matching so everything is matching therefore i give plumbum metallicum and the patient significantly improved her diabetes came back to normal we stopped all her anti diabetic medicines that this this reduction in uh, need of anti diabetic medicines happens very very often when we give keep giving right remedies so we gave nitromur patient improved spongia patient improved means at that time sugar levels start coming back to normal and if we still keep the anti diabetic medicines on then the patient starts to deteriorate and that is could be one of the reason why this patient was in delirium and was starting to talk she used to talk all this for hours in a day continuous 
so that continuous stock immediately reduced with with the first dose itself of plumbum metallicum and she came back to consciousness she was more aware of the surrounding she was talking more nicely appropriately to the surroundings so that is the case and the learning that uh, i wanted to share with all of you and i here really hope that all of us learnt something new from this case thank you all see you all soon in our next guest the remedy till then